Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining our Wednesday morning class, um, uh, Unlocking the Closed Book. Sorry, that's Shabbos. Um, a lot going on in my head. Um, the pet is mightier than the sword. Today's class is being sponsored by Marilyn Wilson in memory of her beloved husband, Al, Avraham Yitzchak ben Eliezer Yaakov. Uh, may his memory be for a blessing and the learning that we do elevate his neshama, his soul, um, and uh, if I remember correctly, Al's yard site is this coming Monday, Tuesday, correct? Monday night, Tuesday. Um, and may his uh, memory be for a blessing. Saturday night and Sunday. Sa Sunday. Oh, Saturday night and Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. My mistake. So it's a Saturday night, Moshe Shabbat and, and Sunday. Um, may his memory be for a blessing. Um, and uh, Marilyn, thank you for, for sponsoring. And it's a big success, a big merit. Uh, for the neshama, for the soul, uh, to sponsor a uh, a class and 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 the Torah learning, uh, which is the greatest way to continuously elevate the neshama um, after uh, it goes to the world, uh, the next world, the world of, of comfort and the world of uh, we call olam haba, the, the the world of foreverness. Um, okay, so. <coughs> Could, could everybody hear me? I just want to make sure everybody hears me. Yeah? Okay, good. Um, okay, so let's get cracking over here. So uh, we are on page 279. Um, uh, two, 279, uh, we are um, on the quote. I just want to talk about a uh, very interesting idea. I, don't think it's, I think it's something to think about and reflect not only in Lashon Hara, like most of these things are, right? Um, but um, over here, it's pertaining to Lashon Hara, but a lot of these things are something that we could reflect on throughout our lives. So the, it starts off like this, right? There's a famous saying, everyone has his price or her price, right? Everybody has his or her price. Now, it's not necessarily completely true, right? Uh, to a certain degree, right? Uh, you know, there's certain things, you know, uh, I, I'm, I hope that... Uh, Right. I hope that, uh, you know, even if someone would offer me a, a, a million dollars, I won't uh, go into a non-kosher restaurant. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, so there's certain things are that, that we're so ingrained in ourselves and we have such a um, belief in that there shouldn't be a price. Right. For example, right. Jews throughout uh, history have sacrificed their lives right, for the sake of heaven. Right. So so the, the, the statement is not a complete complete truth right but um there is a, you know one could say that their price is uh, the the realization of of god right and therefore their belief in god and and their the, the, what they'll rather have is a relationship with god than their materialistic world right but i don't want to that's not really my discussion today that's for a different maybe a different time right but the point over here is there's a story of a Baruch M, right? Of course, it's probably not even his real name, right? Uh, that lived in Bar Park. Um, and uh, he, uh, there was this person, important person in the community that everybody praised, right? But he, I guess, knew something about this person and he had first hand account, but he saw it himself, right? The guy told him, right? Uh, we're not talking about where he, like, he heard something, whatever, but he knew for sure that this person, uh, you know, wasn't the best guy like everybody is, you know, talking about, right? And uh, it happened one time that uh, this guy was being honored by his son's yeshiva, his son's school, right? And this is like the put him over the top, you know, like, uh, okay, was, you could go ahead and read it. I'm just paraphrasing. All right, he told his wife, I don't know if I can handle this. I, I have to say something, I this or that, all right? So she gave him good advice, right? Uh, second, last paragraph, she said, do it as a merit for your daughter, Shaney, who is having trouble finding her best shirt, right? Finding her, uh, her, 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 uh, her husband, right? A match, right? She said, just picture Shaney under the chuppah when you feel like opening up your mouth, right? So we know, right, um, the tradition has taught us, uh, we see this uh, as a living proof. It doesn't guarantee, right? But when we refrain from doing something or we do something positive and merit of someone, it's something extremely hard for us Right? There's a certain energy that God puts in the world to, uh, to you know, to, to a schut, uh, a merit that that thing should happen. So he did it for his daughter. And the end of the story is, right, that it worked out. She got engaged, Baruch Hashem, Mazel Tov, right? But the, the, the point of, the point of thing that they're bringing out, and I think a point that we should reflect on, is that, you know, 
we all have a, to a certain degree a certain price right now if it's a price of you know uh, a merit if it's a monetary price um if it's realizing the severity of what we're doing right we're not going to go so far right uh you know if we realize the outcome of what this could do we would never how many times have we said we never we, we never meant for it to snowball that far right we've either said that or we've heard people say that right we, we had no intentions for it to you know take a life of its own so the idea is like this that that a, a good way to to um from uh, from sur me ra and the idea of, of of moving away from bad right is to reflect on when you have a specific situation but overall but it's definitely a specific situation is to reflect and say okay what's my price <laughs> what's my price all right how far am i willing to go to hurt that person right or, or what, what what you know what i'm gonna say, god i know this is hard i'm a, i'm a yenta right i like to smooth i like to know things right but uh, you know god if, if i'm gonna work hard on on refraining from my refraining uh from doing this and uh, you know please uh, give me parnasa please make sure people are healthy please make sure that uh, you know, uh, the community grows, please make sure that, uh, you know, the school, uh, you know, gets its funding and then the kids are learning well and whatever it is, a million and one things, right? A million and one things. So it's, it's, it's another, another way of taking control of ourselves, right? Because we need help. Let's be honest. We need help. You know, it's not easy excuse me, to control our mouth, right? It's, uh, as we mentioned many times, it's something that, um, just runs, right? Like a broken toilet, right? <laughs> it, just, it just runs, right? It just runs, right? So uh, we, we need help. And I think there's a nice avenue to to reflect that. And I, and, I, and I think this is something to think about all the time for anything, you know, Shabbat, right? What's my price, right? What's my price uh, to, to keep Shabbat? What's my price to eat kosher? What's my price to make sure I go to class in the morning, right? What's my class? What's my price? to uh you know to make sure that i'm dressed modestly what's my price to make sure i wear kippa what's my price to make sure that i put on my my fill and my flactors what's my price to make sure to make sure my husband goes to shul right or i go to shul right we we all have things that we're working on right so what's my price right if someone would say you know if you go to to 645 minion you know for, for 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 a week i'll give you uh you know uh uh, uh two nights in orlando with the family right Jim's like having a thumbs up. Jim's here already, right? Uh, Jim's like here for Minion already, right? So, you know, it's it, it's just something to reflect on that sometimes you say, well, well, I, I just can't wake up. I I, I just got to do this. I got to go out with those friends to that restaurant. It's, 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 it's not right. It's not respectful. Okay, but we all have a price, right? So what's that price, right? It's not respectful. It's not nice. But what happens if someone say, listen, if you don't go to that restaurant, Right. Um, I'll uh, give you X Y. Please mute yourself. Thank you. Um, you know, it, it, I will give you. Uh, you know, we'll give you a thousand dollars. Right. Or uh, if you don't go to that restaurant and eat something there, non kosher. You know, we'll give you. Uh, uh, you you know that you know that uh, your child that's uh, having a hard time. Uh, you know, whatever it is, uh, finding a job or, uh, or 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 conceiving or, or or getting married or or has a health issue like that, they'll get better, right? The things makes it much easier not to go with your friends to that restaurant. You know, we all have our, we all have our thing, right? Uh, so, so we have to just reflect internally and build ourselves up, right? And, uh, and, 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 and realize that to a certain degree, right? This way of reflecting what's my price. And again, I, I, I started off, it's not, necessarily 100 percent and it shouldn't be 100 percent because there is no price about me personally i believe there is no price regarding keeping shabbos right i, I keep shabbos to the best of my abilities right jews throughout history have sacrificed their life the ultimate price right which you know um for for the sake of heaven right but th that concept right of when we're trying to uh, refrain from doing something that we know we shouldn't do right um if it's something that you don't know that you don't do so then Okay, you know, whatever. But you know, in the back, you know, you know I really shouldn't. I, you know, I shouldn't be eating pork anymore. I'm, I know better than that. You know, I shouldn't. I should. Uh, you know, I should. I should really. Uh, you know, daven. I should say the morning blessings every morning. You know, I should. Uh, you know, I should, I should really not drive a car in Shabbat. You know, wherever I'm holding, right? Whatever I'm holding, you 
no in the back of your mind. So then make your price. So make your price. Um, <clears throat> okay. Any <clears throat> excuse me. Any comments or uh, questions on on this part that we just said? No one. Okay. Name your price. It's a new game. Um, okay. Uh, <clears throat> let's. Um, the, the quote from his Igris Hagra. Igris Hagra is uh, from the Gon of Vilna, right? Uh, and uh, he um, he had different uh, statements and different things that he was um, that he, he wrote to his students. He says like this: For every moment that a person refrains from speaking the forbidden, he merits the hidden light, which neither angels nor creature can fathom. Can you imagine? Now the the Gon of Vilna knew this stuff, okay? All right, uh, he was like uh, macho holy, right? Uh, he 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 knew this stuff, right? Uh, he had uh, his students said that uh, they they would he, that he had angels coming and learn offered to learn with him, right? He was uh, Gon of Vilna was on a different realm, and if the Gon of Vilna is telling you that for every moment that the we refrain or that a person refrains from speaking the forbidden. And that's Lashon Hara, um, speaking nivel peh means to say uh, speaking uh, not nicely, saying words that are not nice, and that's another whole topic, right? Uh, we should, you know, filter our mouths. Some people just don't know how. Every other word is, is, is a word that should not be said, right? I just don't get it, right? It's sort of become part of the vocabulary, right? Um, you know, we control our mouths, make sure that we, we could say we're angry in, in other forms, right? Uh, I can't believe this happened, right? Instead of saying right that's as far as i'm gonna go right uh right uh you know or you know there's there's ways of expressing your frustration without saying words that have now become uh words that are that are are never pay are, are bad words are, are words that uh, refer to a negative way of looking at things in the most um disgusting way um and 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 of course lashon hara or Achilles, right? Speaking about other people, right? So he imagined the merit, he, he or she merits the hidden light, which neither angels nor creatures, referring to spiritual creatures, can fathom, right? They can't even fathom. Don't we want to be part of that? All we have to do is just, just zip our mouth, put tape over your mouth. That's all we have to do. That's all. That's all we have to do, right? It's easier said than done, of course, right? But um, but but it's just uh, an encouragement and something to reflect on. But we, we could do this, right? And uh, again, what's your price? So if you realize that every time you you close your mouth, you're connecting to uh, a spirituality, a realm of spirituality, right? Which we right now we definitely can't fathom but we know is beyond our comprehension and, and that's our purpose in our lives is to get closer to god All right so that should be a pretty uh pretty good motivator right to uh to to work on you know and finding ways to control our our speech okay any questions or comments on that okay you guys have been very quiet today okay let's move on day 99 All right day 99 Imagine that we've uh, we've done this for we've done sometimes one or two so, um, but uh, day ninety nine. Okay, so the dilemma is like this: it's a very interesting one. I mean, they're all very interesting. Your coworker Shmuel right, has been passed over for a promotion and a raise many times during the ten years he's worked in our, your organization. All right, so you have a coworker. Let's call him Shmuel. Let's call him uh, Chayalea. Let's call her, uh, uh, I don't know, whatever you want. Tom, uh, you know, whatever you call him. Rachel, I don't care. All right, whoever it is. All right, you have a coworker that has been passed up for a promotion many times, right? And he's been in the organization for 10 years. And he's depressed and miserable, but afraid to say anything for fear of antagonizing the boss. You heard Shmuel's immediate supervisor painted him as a bumbling incompetent, and you know that this is why the boss lacks confidence in him. May you tell Shmuel what your supervisor has been saying. Ba -ba -bum. Okay, what do you guys think? I'm going to take a drink. Anybody? 
you could unmute yourselves if you want. If not, Jim is itching to say something. Uh, Jim doesn't want to be the first one, guys. So, anybody want to say anything? Go ahead. I'll start. Um, I can't even imagine why there would be any that. Why I don't even know why that's a question. Okay. Why not? Meaning, like, why would why would you be able to tell him that? Oh. Uh, uh, what would uh, what would uh, even be what would even be the toelas? Ah. Uh, Okay, good. So Emily's asking, right? What's the havamina? Right? That's the Talmudic language. What's the havamina? What, what's even the thought process? Right? Why do they even have it as day ninety-nine? I mean, we're already educated people. By day ninety-nine, we know that you have to have a uh, process. Right? We're like, uh, we we know we know. So what, what, you know, what are they trying to trick us over here? All right? I By mean, day says, ninety-nine, then we know they have a talus, right, Emily? All right. So uh, I think there's no talus, and already says he's depressed and miserable. So if you tell him that the boss thinks you're a bumbling incompetent, that's like not, that's, I don't know, I feel like that, that's just going to make it worse. Like, I can't, I can't understand why that would even, I don't know. Okay. Just like, forget halacha, like halacha, I mean, not forget halacha, but I'm saying, you know, halacha aside, it's like a terrible idea. Okay. So Emily seems to be saying, uh, Emily is very strong on the no, but more than just the no, Emily is questioning the whole um the whole, the whole question over here why would we even think that this is something that would uh would be appropriate anybody want to chime in on that anybody everybody agrees with emily uh anybody want to you know give a thought or process uh, uh, uh you know disagree with emily uh to jim totally agrees with you I, I totally agree with emily a lot i like that um, yes, this Emily, I would like question my thought process now, and I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the we next, love Jim. So the next question is: so, so should the worker or coworker do anything at all, um, at all? And I, I think if you want to help your your friend, then I would suggest they talk directly to the boss. Talking to their super the supervisors already made up their mind about them. So I would suggest, strongly suggest, they talk to their boss, to the boss, boss, boss. Okay. Now, if they're too afraid to, then that's their decision, and they're just going to be kind of where they are. Okay. Um, Cindy, I see you unmuted yourself. you have any thoughts? Sorry, I was having major Zoom issues. Yeah, I think I missed some because I got booted out but okay um so i like emily said i don't know why it would be my business to tell shlomo what the boss thinks that's up to the boss to tell shlomo what he thinks not i, I wouldn't i wouldn't feel comfortable saying anything to him it's just not my place okay so uh you're you're aligning yourself with emily and jim Right, uh, that uh, he's saying no, and also like, why would why would what 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 would be the thought process for him to even be allowed to say anything? Right, uh, like why, yeah. like why would he be allowed to to say anything? Okay, thank you for that. Um, um, Go it ahead. Sounds, it sounds like it's really got now the hand that, that this is being right. It's been going on for a long time. Right. So um, the friend. Maybe earlier, should have said something to the big boss that, you know, it looks like this Shlomo, whatever his name is, you know, is really having problems. Maybe somebody needs to talk to him. And he's you saying, know, he's, right. So you're saying also, like Jim, he should speak to the boss, right? Uh, but definitely shouldn't say anything to Shlomo. I, I, is that what you're saying, Marilyn? Yeah, yeah. I mean, but it seems like it should have been addressed a long time ago if this is going on for that long. I hear that. I hear that's a good point, valid point. Uh, Judy, you want to say something? Just I agree that I'm not sure I can see any good. Certainly, I don't see any good coming from saying anything to Shlomo. And I would think, uh, I guess it would depend on the situation as far as talking to the boss. Um, okay. <clears throat> Anybody else? Okay, 
Um, okay, so I, I agree with all of you, and we'll see that that's the halakha, but there's a twist over here, right? A little twist. So I first want to address why um, why why is why is this even being a, a question over here to just fall under? There's no toelis. So what's the purpose? And move on, right? So why is it even in the, in the book, and especially on ba- on page on on day ninety nine? And so the answer is like this, because a lot of times. Um, a lot of times part of Toelis is also, as we spoke about, giving advice to someone of how they could better the situation. Um, and sometimes when you know what is hindering you and why it's being hindered, right, that person now is able to present themselves better or at least approach the person or, or thing that is hindering them and try to take care of it, right? So, 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 they're saying like this, and, and let's read the halakha, and, and, and you'll see this uh, clear out. Uh, and this is why they have it uh, said specifically for 10 years, right? If you, have se- if you have seen from Shmuel, right, his behavior over this year, over the years, not over the, this year, but over the years, that he lacks the confidence to confront his supervisor, you can be fairly sure that he won't change now. Your information will only deepen his right um, um, agitation. Since nothing positive is likely to be accomplished, your report is, despite its in good intention, is rachilus. And and uh, the idea is like this: If let's say this, you know, the person is, uh, you know, it's in the company for you. Usually, most people get promoted. You know, at least something. You know, from instead of. Uh, you know, again, nothing, I'm not saying any job is less valued than another job, right? But if their job, you know, is bagging, you know, the produce at the, you know, supermarket, and most times, you know, after doing that for, uh, you know, a month or two, you get uh, bumped up to cash register, or you get bumped up to, uh, you know, stocking or other things, or if it's a different kind of company, you know, you're, you uh, you know, you're working a company and you're, you know, the one that's, uh, you know, for making sure the papers uh, in the in photocopy seems full and then bringing everybody coffee and things like that. And usually after, uh, you know, a couple of months, two months, three months, usually that person gets promoted to, you know, to uh, making sure uh, other things, whatever it is. And that's the way a lot of companies are. They start them off all the way in the lowest, lowest, lowest. Right? And then they get uh, promoted. Doesn't mean to say they'll, you know, become, uh, you know, supervisor, but at least they'll get promoted uh, some some way in the beginning. It doesn't it doesn't usually take those lower end to to something higher. Uh, usually, it doesn't take that long to get promoted. And uh, and you see that this person's not being promoted. One month, two months, right? Three months. You see they're not being promoted, and you hear that the reason is is because their supervisor right, thinks that they uh, they don't have it in them, right? They're not confident. They they uh, they you know they they don't have they don't they don't have it with them. They could only bags. You know, again, there's nothing wrong with that, right? Person, there's nothing wrong with bagging. It's an honest job and it's a good job, right? Um, but Right. That's that. That's what you heard. So then if you go tell this person again, you have to make sure you do it in the right way with the, the rules of Toelis. Right. So this person could go ahead and, and do something about it. He could go over to the supervisor and say, hey, why are you doing this? Why are you saying this about me? Please explain yourself. You know, uh, this is what I heard. I want to clarify it. I would love to work, climb my way in the, in the company. Right. Um, you know, and, 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 you know, let's 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 hash this out. So that's Toelis. Right? That is Toelis. That is giving someone um, information, just like we've said in the past about someone's business or about this or about that. So this is about the person individual, right? What the person has said, what's hindering this person from being promoted right, to the next level. But the reason why they put the case in this way is, is because this person's been around for 10 years, right? And the person never said anything, right? So therefore, the reason why there's no Toelis is because... And, and this is a, a and this is a, a rule, right? You bring it out in this case, but the rule is that even though in 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 most situations the information will be to tell us, right? If it's about uh, you know a pizza shop that we spoke about, someone saying something about you know, the person's pizza and you know the way to make sure that it's to tell us, right? Uh, if it's about uh, you know a, a rabbi or a teacher or a secular teacher, or Jewish teacher, or whatever it is that. Um, you know, you heard and, uh, you know, at firsthand and your child can't be in that class or whatever it is, a babysitter, right? Whatever it is, and the rules of Toelis, right? As long as it falls into the rules of Toelis, right? And we said many cases, right? 
that's when you're allowed to say things in a specific way. You can't just, you know, let your mouth run, right? But in a specific way. But they're saying now a caveat. That, a, a more of a clause than a caveat, more of a clause in the whole rule of Toelis, and to bring it out in this case, is that if you know that the person is not going to react on the information that you are giving them, even though you are allowed to give them that information because of Toelis, Right, because that could benefit this person, right? And this person, and it falls under all the rules you went through your checklist. But if you know that this person, based off the experience of seeing this person, knowing the person's personality, that they're not going to react on that information and they're not going to do anything about their situation based off the information that you gave them, so that's a clause in the whole rule of Toelis, and you're not allowed to tell them. Then the whole, all the rules of Toelis fall apart even though it checks all the boxes, but the bottom line of Toelis is that the person is going to do something about that information. And, and therefore, Marilyn, you're right. The person should have said something earlier. Maybe this person wasn't around earlier, right? Uh, they know this person's been around for 10 years. Right? They just joined the company a year ago and they've you know, heard this and they've seen this, right? Uh, so therefore, they didn't say something earlier, right? But since this person is a person that hasn't stood up for themselves in the past 10 years, so they're scared of by whatever, whatever it is, all right, so then the information you're going to give them is not going to make any difference, right? As Emily and Cindy and, 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 and Jim said, it might make the situation even worse, right? Because it's going to ruin the person's self-confidence even more, right? Um, it could be this person, their back of the mind knows that even, right? But they just don't have that strength. So then the rules of Toelas, um, you know, are, are, don't apply uh, because even though you checked all the boxes, Right? But the person is not going to react on that. Right? And that's that's what this halacha is bringing out. So you guys are all right that you're not allowed to say anything, but there is a reason why there could be a possibility that you are allowed to say something in a different situation where you don't know the person won't react. You know that maybe the person will say something, right? And of course, in a healthy manner, right? Um, and therefore, if you check the boxes of Tuelas, there could be a good benefit for this person to know, be able to, you know, you know, approach their uh, supervisor and say, hey, listen, you know, let's try to work something out. Why, why do you have a grudge against me? I'm a hard worker. I work hard, you know, blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, you know, I just want to clear the air in between us. All right. So that's to Ellis. The person might be promoted. All right? But if the person is not going to do that, so even though you might have checked off the boxes of Toelis, all right, but that's a clause in the whole rule that the whole rules of Toelis now fall apart because the person is not going to react on the information that you gave them. Any questions or comments on that? Anybody? Nope. Okay, we're good. Okay, so let's um, let's let's do a, let's do a grow your self control and the and the statement and uh, and the state the quote of the day and uh, we'll get back to uh, starting off with the halakha. I think we can do that today. So let's uh, let's let's do a full circle. You can do it. Right, you can do it. Right, it's uh, where does that come from? Right, um, yeah, you can do it. Is that from uh, Cool Running? I think it's from Cool Running. Right, uh, but you're thinking make, of Nike, Nike, just do it. I don't no, know. that's that's just do it, but Cool Running, okay, Cool Running is uh, came out in the in the early 90s. It's uh, anybody know Cool Running? It's, it's about just, a movie about the Jamaica, yeah, Bob's Jamaica has Jamaica a Bob's there, yeah, right. So, I think they have over there, you can instead of. All right, just do it. You say you can't do it, All right? Um, okay, um, you know whatever. It's a, yeah, we call Gersi Diankasa. You know, there's a concept of things that you uh, did when you're younger. Some some reason you remember small details later, All right? Um, okay, so but it's a good movie, cool running, and it's clean. Um, um, okay, so let's get cracking over here. People often see Shmir Salasin as an impossible, as as impossible, uh, an impossibility. Right, because of the uh, how conversations go, right? Uh, we can't control making split second decisions, right? And we all feel this. I mean, I know I feel it. I right? in conversation and this, that, barbecue, uh, family, Friday, Sabbath, lunch, kiddish, uh, at a community event, uh, on the phone with someone, uh, texting back with someone. Remember, that's also Lashon Hara, right? Texting. Uh, and you know, someone asks you something, and uh, it's split second decision, and uh, you just splurt it out, whatever. Oh, shoot, I shouldn't have said that, right? So, how can we control ourselves, right? 
The truth is that success is possible only when we get into the habit of thinking before we speak, right? right? Can such a level of self-monitoring uh, really happen? And the answer is yes, right? Think about it for a second. I'm gonna paraphrase this outside. We do this all the time in our lives. Right? How many times, you know, uh, what during the week, uh, to, uh, a lot of people, right? When they uh, use the bathroom, right? When they're done with the bathroom, what do they do? They turn off the lights, right? You want to save money, right? You turn off the light. You're not using it, right? We always teach our kids turn the light off when you leave the bathroom. Turn your light off when you leave your room, right? And uh, that's you know a, 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 an important thing to do. When you know, turn the light off when you leave the kitchen at night, right? Before I go to sleep, I walk around the house, make sure to turn off all the lights, right? Leaving out a couple, you know, you don't want the house all dark. Okay, uh, I'm not going to go through my whole ritual, right? Um, but uh, Right, but but it's it's something that we do. But on Shabbos, right, those that um, for for some it's it's still something that might be hard. And we have uh, we we put on Shabbos, you know, covers, right, and it's a good thing to do, right. But for for others, you know, for a lot of us, you know, it's it's part of our reason. Especially like you know, you wake in the middle of the night, right, and so you're half asleep, right, and you go uh, and you come out of the bathroom, oh, right, because it you, you've trained yourself. Right from a little kid, right, or from other people from from adulthood, right. But over time, you train yourself that that's that's not what we do, right. You're able to train yourself to make sure that you don't do that, and there's many other things, and many other things, making a blessing over food, right, right. Uh, you know, we train ourselves that before we put the food in our mouth. It sounds easy, but we, you know, you go to kids, right, <laughs> you food at the table, and you eat it, right? Supper is put on the table, right? Um, you know, you train ourselves, right? And, uh, you know, I've been uh, trying every meal, right? Uh, make sure to teach my kids and myself, right? I say the blessing out loud, right? Every meal, right? Uh, now, if it's, uh, you know, when we're not washing, so I make on each food by itself for some zonos if we have it, right? And then, uh, uh, you know, a, a vegetable and then shahakal, right? Uh, it depends on what's on the table, right? Uh, if there's washing, so then I wash, but it's sort of trying to make that part of the process because uh, part of instinct. And so too, right? Uh, if, we, if we start training ourselves, right? That we think before we talk. I know it's a, it's, a, it's a nice catchphrase, think before you talk. And, you know, we say it a lot of times, but if we actually, actually start exercising it, right? Eventually, believe it or not, we'll be able to control ourselves. Right? We will, we'll be able to control ourselves, right? Not, for, not necessarily 100% proof. We, we just like we mis make mistakes on, on Shabbos sometimes, we make mistakes not what we eat or, or blessings or other things, embarrassing someone. But over, over time, right, we will uh, be more careful on what comes out of our mouth. And, and, and I know I'm, I'm not asking anybody to, to, to respond to this, but if you all reflect internally yourselves since we started this class, Right and until now, I am I am Bar Kashemes. I I I'm, I I know for sure as as the light as the sun is bright, right? That we all have um, we all we all have become a little more aware of what we say, right? Uh, not saying that it's 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 foolproof, right? It's not saying that there's no more work to be done, right? But we've all become a little more aware and 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 double check ourselves or question or you know. Should I say this? Should I not? Uh, is this the right thing to say? Afterwards, you question yourself: Was it? Was, should I have not said that? Right? You're thinking more about it, right? Because you're learning the laws. You're 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 you're, you're thinking about it. It's something that's part of your part of your week, part of your day, right? And the more we do that, the more we we put that part forefront in our thought, the more it'll be easier to restrain ourselves and to make sure that uh, we're in control of what we speak and what we say. I'm just going to do the quote of the day and then we'll uh, turn the recording off. And uh, if anybody has any questions or comments, uh, please feel free. One who has accepted upon himself not to hurt another, even though words will certainly be careful. Thank you. Right. Uh, not to hurt another, even through words, will certainly be careful not to physically hurt another so that eventually he will be free of all sin between man and his fellow. Right, this is Sefer Shmir Salashon, Shari Hatz Hazichonos. Right, so the idea is like this: 
and we think words okay i won't hurt I, 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 you know whatever that's not so bad but physically hurting someone no way i can never do that right and we're saying that no they're connected because if you really think about it the the source of hurt is the other individual it doesn't make a difference if it's through words or if it's a physical if it's a punch or if it's a monetary or you kill their business or whatever it is right the person's still being hurt so when you train yourself right and work on not hurting them through words what we're really doing is also realizing that we have to think about the other person right that's been other than between man and his fellow and we have to constantly be aware of the other person's feelings and the other person's uh, uh, that uh, about the other person, right? Not to hurt them physically or emotionally or through words or financially or any other way, right? And therefore, we would also that will help us and ensure that we don't hurt them in a physical way. And, and I think that's uh, it's bringing out the point that lush and hara, another way to control ourselves, another way to think about it is that it's not just what I am saying, it affects other people. There's a cause and effect. And if I want to be a person that doesn't uh, me i don't hurt other people i'll never punch someone in the face right i'll never uh you know uh you know to put a stick in someone's bicycle right when they're riding in front of us right, okay random might have done that as a kid right um but uh you know um but you know it's we're thinking about other people right lush and hara hurting someone with words right emotional right and and or their business or whatever it is or creating a masim between two people, which is Rahila saying something to someone, what someone else said about them without any toelas, that's not thinking about the other person, right? And that's not Ben Adam Lechavera. Right? So when we work on that, right, we'll make ourselves uh, aware more of Ben Adam Lechavera, think about other people, and that spreads not only to our conversation, but our physical reaction to other people. Thank you, everybody, for uh, joining us today. Again, today's class was uh, sponsored by uh, Marilyn uh, in memory of her husband, Avram Yitzchak ben Eliezer Yaakov. Um, his memory be for a blessing. Um, and all the Torah that we learned today uh, elevate his neshama, his soul, in its final resting place. Wishing everybody a beautiful day.